Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Mr. S and today we get a brand new trailer for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the trailer. I'm gonna talk through it as we watch it to kind of like break it down. And hopefully we get some good stuff. I'm super excited. I can't wait for it. Let's check it out and see what we get today, guys. Let's do it. So here's Pikachu. Alright. No way. Freaking Giovanni. Oh my god, Rainbow Rocket takes the stage. Dude! This is ridiculous! And he has Meryl too! No! Dude! He has to make you feel some pain! And Archie Maxi, Cyrus, Getsis, I forgot his name. Gen 1 through 6, okay, let me pause right there. Gen 1 through 6 team leader bosses are in the game! Oh my god! God, this game looks amazing. Oh my gosh, dude. So far, what we've seen so far. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. We're going to go ahead and battle these team leaders. And I don't know who's going to bring it. If it's going to be Giovanni, this is like his master plan. Or is it going to be like the Ultra Recon squad that's going to bring them here? Who knows? I don't know. But it looks like we're going to be bad all of them. I don't know if it's going to be like an Elite Four kind of thing where we got to go through each one before we fight Giovanni or what. But Giovanni has a freaking Mewtwo! And I hope it's high-powered level so we can like have a good battle with him and not, you know, easily beat him in like two minutes. I want to have a good, challenging battle with Mr. Giovanni with his freaking Mewtwo. Where's his freaking Mewtwo? Right there. That guy right there. Look at that Mewtwo. Look at his face. He means... Business, he's ready to kick some butt. He's probably had so much of, you know, Red's crap and, you know, Ghost of a Crystal, that hero's crap. He was like, I had enough. I'm a, I mean some business. I got some help. I got my Mewtwo. I'm going to kick some butt. Oh, my God, guys. This game looks freaking crazy. Look at him with his Mewtwo. With his hands in his pocket. He's like, come on, what you guys going to do? Dude, this dude is mean business he said and then he got he has his leader bosses here too i don't know if it's gonna be helping him or what but now here the battle agency this it's not like battle fact you borrow thunders you okay so you can borrow a legendary pokemon too it looks like you can battle not battle you can borrow all the pokemon here because there's like a uh, fish sharp or whatever his name is a low uh, executor there's so a lot like you can borrow pokemon including legendaries to battle so it seems like it's like a battle factory kind of thing. Okay, and Frostlass getting his her butt hands her. Pika Volt. But look, it's it's the leader dude. Uh trial captain guy. I forgot what's his name. Sophocles, I think. Whatever his name is. I keep forgetting his name. I forget a lot of his name. I haven't played in a little while. But yeah, he's here too. And look, you can battle powerful characters and er earn rare items. This is all this is weird. I don't know if you're gonna be getting like points or if as soon as you defeat him and other trainers like him, you get an item right there. Who who knows? I'm not too sure, but who knows, man? I I don't know. It could be rare candy. I don't know. Points, master ball. Who knows? Who knows what key rare items can be? Search all of the totem stickers. Okay, so these stickers are gonna be placed around everywhere, almost like a Zy Zygarde kind of thing. Like we had to go find stickers, but. Okay, now this says, get totem size Pokemon. Okay, so that's what a sticker does. You get to use totem size Pokemon by collecting by collecting these stickers. So, who knows if these totem size Pokemon, when you get to use them, if their stats going to be better. Most likely it will because they're totem size Pokemon. They're bigger than regular size Pokemon. But I don't know if it's going to be almost like Ultra Beast or when they battle these totem Pokemon. If it's going to be like one stat that's going to be raised. Or is it going to be all stats raised and stronger than normal size Pokemon. But we have, I guess we have to play and find out. But it's crazy that we can actually use totem size Pokemon. But I don't know why you have to collect stickers. Doesn't make sense. St you have to collect stickers. To use totem size Pokemon. That doesn't really make any sense. That's kind of weird. But that's what you have to do if you want to use, use totem Pokemon. I don't really personally care about totem Pokemon. I probably won't be using them. I'd rather use Pokemon that I train more. And like Mega Pokemon or Pokemon with like Z moves. I don't really like totem Pokemon. So that's an end for me. Whatever. But the next one we saw was the Pokefinder. 
different Pokemon will appear items. Guess I'm going item scan. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we get Charmander. So most likely it's going to be Gen 1 starters. Grovile, so we can find Gen 3 starters. And Greninja, so we can find Gen 6 starters. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's crazy. Be okay, kind of makes sense because in Sun and Moon, we can find the Gen 2 starters and Gen 5. So now in this game, we can find Gen 1, Gen 3, and Gen 6. Okay, so it completes it. So you have to play Sun and Moon to get the Gen, Gen uh, 2 and Gen 5 starters. And this game, you can go find Gen 2, Gen 4, and Gen 6. So, I mean, Gen 1. Gen 3 and Gen 6. So, oh yeah, we're missing Gen 4. Or do we get Gen 4 in the other game? I can't remember. But like Gen 1, Gen 3, Gen 6. I think we're missing Gen 4. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're getting a Mewtwo. And kind of let's try Pokemon beyond the Ultra Wormhole. So let's see. Mewtwo. The bird. Lugia Ho Oh. Entei Sukun Raiko. Groudon Kyogre Rayquaza. Oh, the Reggie, Lacha Lachas, Dialga, Palkia, the Mist Spirit, the Zelf, whatever, the Lake Spirit, Giratina, Reshiram, Sekwam, Oh, Kyram, Oh, and Evelton, Xerneas, and Zygarde! Oh, my gosh, oh, dude, okay, this is crazy, so we're basically gonna be looking and finding basically all the leg legendary Pokemon so far, besides mythical Pokemon. We didn't see no mythical Pokemon here. They're showing Mega Mewtwo here. Mega, okay, the different forms of legendary Pokemon. Do we see anything about mythical Pokemon here? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, these two the moves. There's all kinds, of, all kinds of legendary Pokemon. And okay, that's basically end of the trailer. So we're gonna be able to go find all these legendary Pokemon in this game. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Those two, they're gonna be split up in each game. So you, you're probably gonna need both to have a friend trade between each other to help complete the Pokedex. But all these legendary Pokemon is gonna be in the game. But so far, nothing about mythical Pokemon. That's what we want. As fans, we want to be able to go ahead and catch mythical Pokemon so we can have our own touch to them. Because if we were just given a mythical Pokemon like how we are before, like Marshadow and all the other other uh, mythical Pokemon. It doesn't feel that special as us Pokemon trainers, Pokemon fans, to just be given a mythical Pokemon. We want to be able to go and catch them and add our own touches, as in like Pokeball they're caught in, Nature, uh, IVs or whatever, you know, Synchronize, all that stuff. We want to be able to go ahead and do that instead of just giving these Pokemon. So hopefully, maybe they didn't show us in a trailer, it could be as a surprise that we get these mythical Pokemon. We can go and find them in a wormhole. But I'm not too sure yet. We don't know, but I'm hoping so. But these are the Pokemon that we can find in the game. I, I'm i hoping that they are not shiny locks. So we can go ahead and freaking shiny hunt for these Pokemon. It, it's going to be so fun. And lots of post-game uh, content if we can go ahead and shiny hunt for these legendary Pokemon. I'm hoping they're not shiny lock like uh, Oros. I'm, I'm hoping so far. But uh, yeah, so much post-content uh uh, stuff in this game these games look amazing like a lot of people say you know this is almost gonna be like a sun and moon remake no it's not it's a completely new game you guys need to get that out of your head if you guys play sun and moon you have to play ultra sun and ultra moon because it's a completely new game lots of post content in it and new storylines and be different than sun and moon so i would recommend getting it i got sun before so i'll be getting ultra moon this time so i'm gonna be going and playing through this game get that uh Get all the legendary Pokemon I can. Hopefully, uh, shiny hunt for these. But these games look amazing. I got a pre-order soon, so I can get it on our release day. But yeah, so that's the trailer for you guys. But I'm still giving doing my giveaway. If you haven't seen my other uh, videos on my channel as far as shining Ho Oh, so all you gotta do is like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, turn the notification bell on so you know, and um, leave comments below. Let me know what kind of other videos you want to see. Uh, if you have any advice, whatever, just go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you want to see. And uh, yeah, good luck, guys. Hopefully, I can give away this card soon. I want to give away the card soon, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead. This is the English trailer. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a Japanese trailer out. So I'm going to go ahead and try to look for that and do a video on that too. And upload so you guys can go ahead and see it. But yep, this is my live reaction for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. Mr. S out.